What is directional boring? Well, this is a directional boring machine. Directional boring is when you need to get from one, like one side of the road to the other or from the road to a house and there's a bunch of um, power or phone, water, gas in the road that you don't want to dig through it. So basically you bore underneath it. It's just a, like a four inch tunnel that that thing pushes. The way it works, is there's these five six foot rods that go on as you push the machine with this big chain here hydraulics whatnot push this rod via this me me mechanism back here it pushes this rod into the ground and spinning and shoots water it pumps water through those pipes as you add pipes as you go, you add pipes on, the machine pushes the rod through, and it has water that blasts out the tip of this, this boring head. And as it goes, it just cuts the ground and builds a tunnel, okay? So, like for here, they didn't want to tear up this road, so they found the, uh, they took their vacuum, they went down here, found the, uh, the existing phone line and another one over there. Then they bored underneath this road. And you can't even tell they're there. Except for, you know, a little while this will be covered, that'll be covered. You never know what's, what happened there, okay? So, the way you steer this thing is, well, you kind of get it lined up with the direction you want to go. Then that tip, you see how the tip of that, that angle of iron there, it's at an angle? Well, as you turn, because you turn that thing clockwise, because you don't want to unscrew in the ground. So you turn the machine clockwise, that, that, that rod, shooting water out it. So you're boring and it's just basically spinning, cutting the line. But now if you need it to go to the right, left, up, or down, you can actually steer it in the ground. So with this, like it is right now, that would be like at, um, I'd say, 7 or 8 o'clock as you look at a candle. So if this was pointed straight down, see how it's angled? If it was pointed straight down, that would be 6 o'clock. If that was pointed straight up, it'd be 12 o'clock. If it was pointed to the right, 90 degrees, it'd be three o'clock. And then pointed to the left would be nine o'clock. That's how that works. So basically you have one guy running this machine, has a radio, another guy's out here on a, on a locator that is locating the head of this, this boring machine. And with that, he can tell how deep it is, um, the directions it's going, the, exactly where it's pointed, um, the angle of what it's, of, of uh, the degree, you know, up, down, um, you know, it's like if you're here shooting across here, that's really nothing, it's so short. But they also went from there all the way down to those cones way down there in one shot. Um, we have one at work where you shoot about 500 foot. It's quite a ways, but you can shoot about 500 feet. So as you can see, this is going downhill. So when you're, sh when you're actually boring it, you want that head to match the, the contour, you know, the, the downhill of this road. So you get it down about 30 inches or so, and then just keep it at this angle. So that's, you know, probably about 12% uh, downgrade right there. Well, maybe not that much. But basically before you start, you can put that on the ground and put a level on it and find out exactly what that road is for angle. And then you can just keep that through the locator at that degree. Anyway, that is, a boring machine and they are the cat's meow I tell you they're it's just a clean I mean if this was all dug up with a trench across here and trench all the way down there I mean along this footing and all this stuff what a mess that would be yes these are the cat's meow